Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you a couple of different things that you can do on your device to actually go ahead and speed up your specific iPhone. Now, most of these things are going to be pretty applicable to any iPhone out there, but I will tell you some of these may be suitable for more, you know, standard, you know, top tier iPhones. I will tell you as well, none of these things are going to like drastically change your experience on your device, but they can definitely help, you know, maybe make your iPhone a little bit faster or maybe glitch up less. So the very first, I guess, portion of things I'm going to tell you to do are straight up within your specific settings app. So what you want to do in this specific case is you want to go into your settings app. You'll come into this panel. Then what you want to do is you want to go into general. You want to go into background app refresh. And this area is like the number one thing that you can do to probably make your phone so much faster. And I might have over like sold it right there. But these things basically to give you a little rundown, every single one of these things are basically sucking up a little bit of power in the background. So whenever you're using your phone, whenever you're doing anything, all these apps are pretty much using some certain, you know, aspect of your phone in the background. Now, some of these things may actually be needed on your specific phone. So for example, Snapchat, you want this specific toggle to be on because at least for me, I want to be notified of specific apps that I'm getting or specific notifications from this app. If somebody Snapchats me, I want to be notified of it. Same thing with Spotify. If I want to be playing a song in the background, sometimes I guess I may need it. But things like Quizlet, I never use Quizlet in the background. I don't get notifications from it. I don't really need it. And same thing with provenance, Pixar as well. Basically, whenever you stop or on, you know, toggle these things, you'll, you'll be stopping these things from using your phone in the background, making your phone a little bit faster here and there, depending on how many apps you go ahead and kind of disable. But also, you won't be notified of it and it won't be even sucking up battery life in the background as well. So this is the number one thing I would recommend doing in your settings app. This can drastically change your specific, you know, speed of your phone. And trust me, by doing it to basically any app that you don't use, it can really make a difference on your device. But at the same time, if you hop out and you go into your location services, so you go into privacy, you go into location services, and you do the same exact thing for all the apps down here, then you're also going to be saving up that much specific battery life and performance but you can also turn off your location services now that may be a stretch some people may actually need it but by doing that you can actually make your phone that much faster which like i said before is seriously a really important thing that i would recommend every single person doing so that's kind of like the first half of things i would recommend doing on your specific settings app that you can go ahead and make your phone that much faster but I will tell you, there is another couple of things that you can do, which is the second portion of this video, which doesn't really require you to go into your settings app, but it's pretty much everything that's going on with your device right here. So first of all, believe it or not, some of you may know this, widgets can actually take up not only a lot of battery life, but can also take up a lot of performance on your device as well sometimes. Now, depending on the widget itself, now if it's a battery widget, it's really not going to matter. But if it's a widget that's like something like this, like a massive one, or like one of the smart widgets, they don't take up a lot of battery life, they don't take up a ton of performance. But if you have a ton of those specific, you know, widgets, it's going to take up quite a bit of, you know, performance and battery life, especially if you have pages and pages and pages of them. A widget, because it has so many more background processes, is going to take up more performance and more energy than a specific app, for example. So by deleting those widgets, you are ultimately going to be saving yourself that much more battery life and that much more performance. So if I go and click here and I click remove widget, it's going every single widget I, you know, delete is going to help me out in the long run of making my phone that much faster. Now on top of that, all these apps and stuff that you have, if you want to delete an app, go for it. But I would honestly tell you, as I said before in my other video, a huge thing that you can do to make your phone that much faster too is to make sure that you're not on low power mode. So right here is low power mode. If I have it enabled, it's going to pretty much make my phone that much slower. You know, it's going to try to save and preserve as much battery life as possible. But you don't really want that to happen. So if you want to, you know, make your phone that much faster, turn off low power mode. And I would honestly also recommend if you have a super old iPhone to probably recommend, you know, getting the battery replaced because a lot of the performance is tied to the specific battery life of the device. So that's another pretty much big thing I would recommend too. So those are a couple different ways to make your iPhone that much faster. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.
Peace out till then.